Hey, hey holiday hoes! Two dumb bees coming at you with another episode. Um, today we are gonna be building a gingerbread house, or as Sour Patch likes to call it, um, extreme ski chalet. <laughs> so, whatever that means. Whatever that means. Okay. We have three kinds of kisses. Love that. Place. Maybe for like little trail. A trail. It's like the lights. Yeah. In the pathway. Like yes, whatever. exactly. And these could be like stepping stones. Like. Oh yeah. Ooh. Or like a little patio. Yeah. Little patio. Wow. It's gonna be our dream house with this <laughs> gingerbread. Chalet you means ski chalet. Hopefully, it like is cute. It's gonna be cute because. I don't know if y'all did this when you were kids, but we made milk carton gingerbread houses. I think we did in too. In public school. Yeah. Wow. They were always so ugly. Yeah. And so like you even got to eat them, but you did get to eat the candy. Yeah, while you're making it, but I never ate the candy after or nothing. No. All right, okay. This is the This is the front. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Who's that? I don't fucking know. Shouldn't it be like a spot? It's oh, it's like the. Oh, wait. Because they're triangles. Yeah. Get the box. Yeah. <laughs> we already need to reference the box. Up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> is our base structurally sound though for what we're about to do to it? Probably not. Oh, and this set's already coming oh, apart. Oh god! Too. I know, but ah. this set is coming apart. This set's already lifting. Look. Girl. Girl. Just fill the hole. Yeah. <laughs> 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 fill it. Fill the hole. Do you wanna fill my bottle? <laughs> Shout out to the reed. <laughs> okay. Yep. Mm hmm So. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know where that came from. Probably needed that. Yeah. <laughs> Express a little bit of gas. I feel that. Anyways. Maisie! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait, it's coming out. <laughs> that's why she's coming yeah, for me. Right. Stop. Oh, it is. Look, that's where it popped. Uh oh. <sighs> Between yeah. Maisie and this right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna take it from you. <laughs> you need to. You need to lay down. Oh gosh. Oh, okay. Whoosh. Uh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> It might be. Yeah. At least for the roof. Yeah, because you need a lot of spreadable action. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this is happening. So we're having some technical, technical difficulties. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So it's the holiday season, right? Mm -hmm. And what do we do? I'm fortunate enough to get along with my family um, and as a kid we used to spend it with like more family but as we got older 
the family got smaller. So it's kind of nice being with Linsky's family because he's got such a big family. So it's nice to be able to have that like Filipino experience and have the big, ooh, the big, oh shit. Sorry. <laughs> the big like gathering and stuff like that. Cause that's something I had as a child, but as I got older, like teenager, I didn't really have that as much. So it's nice to kind of get that back into my life. Cause it's always been an important thing for me. So I always like it. I have fun. I get along with my parents. Wait, Parent. <laughs> what's been an important thing for you? Oh. Spending time with family? Yeah. And just like the big gatherings and stuff. Like when I was younger, we used to spend a lot of time with like Auntie Vicky and stuff like that. But you know, getting old is hard. Um, but with him, yeah, his family's endless. So it's kind of nice to have that. Movie experience, you know, everyone's laughing, lots of presents and family, kids running around, you know. Oh, it smells like lime. Yeah. Oh, it probably is the sour patch. Oh. Do you want to dribble it into your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> is it lime? Ooh, it is lime. It's good. And it also makes sense because, yeah, sour patch. Not bad. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. So for my family's thing, we do white elephant, but mm. it's also, it's like white elephant, but we do it while we read, uh, I don't know, it's a Christmas day um, book. Cute. Um, but my cousin's husband, when he was little, his mom would have them like uh, read this story. So whenever they say and in the story, then we, we move the present to the left. So you start out with your own present or whatever. And then when you say and, you, you send it to the next person. And you just keep going and going and going. That's cute. And I remember one year you came for Christmas. Yeah. And they gave j -Soul a gift. It wasn't for a white outfit, yeah. but they put Auntie Nancy's friend. Yeah. <laughs> that was very cute. And I think it was like gloves or something. Yeah, something just random. Yeah. Because it's hard to spell Jaisal, so yeah. I, oh. I'm pretty sure that's why. <laughs> Just said Auntie Nancy's friend. <laughs> okay, I wish I had tweezers. Uh -oh. oh, shit. <laughs> Maybe it's a good thing we got the tray. Yeah. <sighs> These. I, I tried to sprinkle this, it all just fell. It's like the garlic powder all over again. <laughs> <laughs> Us and these powder. Son of a bitch. Here, I'm going to throw it. Let's see if that works. That kind of worked. It's <laughs> not not working out too great um what is your favorite holiday memory if you have one Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I was just thinking that. the same thing I don't know what I'm doing with this um it's funny like I feel like I've had so many but I feel like one that I always remember for some reason I don't even know if it's like particularly my favorite but maybe it's because I feel like it is because I have a picture of it. But I know one year, there used to be this store in the junction in West Seattle called uh, Kitty Corner. And it was like literally just like a cute like Hello Kitty themed store with like some anime stuff. So it had like, oh fuck it broke. Uh, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> like, I'll take Look it. at it. I'll take it. Don't worry. I'll get it. Uh, it'll, I can boo it. Um, but there was like this really cute store called Kitty Corner, um, and it was me and my sister's favorite store, and there's, yeah, there's like Sailor Moon stuff, or whatever, anime stuff, because, you know, we're nerds, whatever, um, but Choco Cat used to be my favorite Sanrio character, which is funny, because I don't even really like cats, but, I don't know, Choco Cat was cute, and there was a Choco Cat plushie at that place, and I wanted it and wanted it, but, like, I didn't have enough allowance money, um, but one Christmas, my dad got it for me because he was the one that would take us to Kitty Corner. And I have a picture of all four of us, me, my sister, my mom, and my dad. And I have the Hello Kitty, and I'll show it, but I have the uh, Chuckle Cat where I'm just like, and I'm just so happy. And I like, that's like all I wanted for Christmas. So it's like, then again, like maybe my brain is just associating it as like one of my favorites because I have a picture of it and I remember it better. But I also, I know I really wanted it and it was cute and like, it's also a good memory of my dad, but yeah. yeah. This isn't necessarily my favorite, yeah. <laughs> but it is, I know it's not my favorite, but there was one Christmas where I was like, man, 
I never get the gifts that I asked Santa for. <laughs> so there was one night I woke up in the middle of the night and I saw my parents putting um, my like my stocking stuffers. Yeah. And I just thought it was so cute because I was like, oh, that's why. Because yeah. my parents are doing it. You're like, that makes sense. And they didn't read my letter to Santa. Yeah. So they don't know. Because you sent it away. Yeah, because it was a secret. Um. And then, yeah, so I found out Santa wasn't real, but I was also like, this is very sweet. I was just about to ask, what age did you find out that Santa wasn't real? I think I was like four or five when that happened, because I wasn't in school yet. Yeah. We didn't really do a lot of stuff. I remember what I got that year, though. I got, um, you know those fucking fish? Where you have to fish them out. Oh, sorry, yes. Yeah, look yeah. at the magnets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I got. In my stocking stuffer, so I thought it was really cute. That is cute. So, yeah. I should, okay, I need to let it go. We need to let it go. Mm -hmm. Let it go, let it go. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> I don't care anymore. It looks like shit. It didn't bother anyone anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I'm getting. I'm, oh no. Now I'm getting desperate. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh, oh no! no! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Wait, let me. I'm gonna. Move. Okay, you're gonna see this in action, friends. While I desperately try to finish it. <laughs> Miss. <laughs> oh, okay. We got we got that little bit. We got the top. Oh, look. Got see my bottom right oh. there. Oh yeah. And then we got my these, doormat. These little guys. We wish you a merry Christmas and a happy new year. We got future Maisie. Maisie's butt. Oh, I miss that. <laughs> Do, it <again. laughs> Do it again. This is uh, the technique to get sprinkles on your shit. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> it all ended up here. <laughs> a little bit right there. Just a teeny bit okay. right there. Let me just. Oh, yeah. Let me get a couple more things and we'll call it good. Okay. I feel like the back looks a lot better than the front. <laughs> Here, should I work on the front? No. There. That's it. That's the one. This wait, is a yeah. real front. <laughs> Everyone likes the back. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yes. Do they? No. <laughs> a lot of work. I was say, a lot of people I know don't like the back door. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's cute. All these little sprinkly, yeah. sprinkly buds. Yeah. Okay, that's... <laughs> Wait. Just a little so I can salt bay it. Salt bay it? Okay. How do I rest? <laughs> <laughs> that should have been the question. Let's do that question instead. Okay, hold on. Okay. Reset. Reset. Alright. How can Nance rest? How do we teach them how to rest? <laughs> what tools can they use <laughs> to learn how to rest? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
what is needed for the rest. Oh, that's oh. So that was not a good shuffle. It's not a good shuffle or it's tar the deck is I know, now it's, it's ready for me to start yeah. passing. Okay. okay. Oh, 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 two, three, oh, three, oh, <laughs> okay, right screaming at me, <laughs> <laughs> slow down, let's see what it is, red just gave us good cards, yep, I'll do one more pass, I click, we already told you last year, you dumb bitch, <laughs> Oh, nope, that's oh, one. Oh, no. I don't Does that count? I don't know. Let's see. Uh -oh. How many cards was that? It's because it's like, Four. you have too many goddamn questions. <laughs> <laughs> I know, my deck is like, you bitches talk too much. Okay, well, let's see. This is seven cards. How about we do the first three together and the last one? Yeah, four? that's probably clarity. All right. Or like, clarification. Okay. Are you going to ask a question, too? No. No, oh, just all you. Oh, okay. Boy. All right. To get red to the battle. <laughs> uh -oh. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so it's Ooh. funny that you have a lot of um let's just show it. We got four pentacles. Is that can I help? Nope. There. Four pentacles. Three of pentacles. And then <laughs> ten of swords. Yeah. I feel like I get that often. Um, it's funny because pentacles are about work. Like they're about, pentacles like if you're asking about like career or material things or like wealth or like physical like things you can see and feel and like do. Um, those are the pentacles for you. Um, Three Pentacles, it's about like teamwork, it's about building a foundation, it's about working together. Um, Four Pentacles is almost like not being stingy, but being cautious and like closed off and like just yeah, like cautious. So it's interesting that you've got these two guys together when you're asking about like I already know needing <laughs> about like needing to rest it, like the three of pentacles already is screaming like you need to like ask other people for help you need to like as a, for you and for you in a in order for you to rest you need to have a team to help you so you can help put work onto other people yeah exactly <laughs> you gotta like you know you what's the word i'm looking for you like disperse but Delegate. delegate yeah delegate your work because obviously you like to hold everything and try to keep too much control and keep it all in and it's killing you <laughs> is that what that means <laughs> i mean ten of swords is all like mental but like mentally bro <laughs> Cards because that is just it's like literally like what ten swords right like, like exactly like you work so hard you take on all this responsibility <laughs> and all it fucking does is beat you down <laughs> mentally and in some ways physically like you are trying to do too much you are holding so much in because you just have that control like you know you don't want to give up some of that control but in order for you to like get that rest you need to invest in your teamwork on foundation like you don't have to do it all look how happy they are right now look what they're doing yeah, really they're cool. building the shit but you can't do it all on your own you're gonna end up dead. <laughs> you're not actually gonna end up dead but like you know like something could happen. symbolically <laughs> it's it's gonna be rough so that's hilarious those are the first three cards that jumped out um i want to see what the what deck also like what are before. these like other things oh so we got oh maybe this is like the same oh wow <laughs> okay so like 
I it's, hate this. If you know me, you know why why the three of these are annoying. Um, <laughs> it's funny that these jumped out together also. Okay, this is like, okay, this is great, actually. Is it funny or is it like... No, it's great. It's, it's actually, real. it's funny. It is because that was like, I'm thinking the deck is like, bitch. <laughs> Listen You are doing me. the most. Stop. But like, these are, I think, tools and like resources. Ten of Cups. If you know a little about tarot, Ten of Cups is such a great, beautiful card. Um, Cups is all about like the emotional things that make you happy, things that are dear to your heart. And then Ten of Cups is all, or like tens in anything is like the end of a cycle, end of a cycle, end of work, end of that sort of thing. But this is like another cycle, like to find your rest and fulfillment. Like it's coming if you, I think, invest in these things because you've also got Nine of Cups with that too. Nine of Cups is just like finding the inner peace and thing, like, you know, finding your own happiness. Oh, it looks just like, like yeah, you happy. know, <laughs> exactly. It's just about finding that peace and happiness on your way to not worrying about those things and investing in yourself. You've also got the- Which people. also like is related to the resolution. Exactly, right? yeah, exactly. The fact that, you know, old man is doing pottery, like, He's just finding joy in what he's doing. He doesn't have to look anything out, like look for anything else. He's finding the joy in what makes him happy, what's dear to his heart. And that'll lead you to like your own personal fulfillment, where your rest is, where you find your happiness without working hard. You've got the page of wands. I think we had that in our other draw. Um, it's like newer energy, it's, but it's also like creative pursuit. And it's like interesting that like, oh, like, like the wands is about creativity and passion. Like it's interesting that it's paired with like the nine of cups also, where he's actually doing something creative. So like, you know, creative endeavors. And then you've got the ace of pentacles, which is aces are new starts, but it's interesting that it's with pentacles. Maybe it's like new business, but not taking on as much as you should in your I new business. I was gonna start yeah. my, uh, my art. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Six stages. Exactly. So I think honestly, just like taking a step back again, like it's funny that your resolution was like that. We talked about that before. You saw me just shuffle the cards. Like I'm not drawing cards right. on your resolution. It's about finding that peace with what makes you happy so that you can find that fulfillment, so that you can find that rest. And like the things that are going to bring that to you is starting these creative endeavors new starts with that like you know and like you know your art is gonna be like a material thing a little bit of work it's gonna be work but you know it pairs with the page of wands it's gonna be a brand new start it's gonna be a little bit chaotic because page is all new energy um but it's all gonna be quick it's gonna be really soon too so i think honestly it's about relinquishing control it's right it's really funny that it's two different answers but they go yeah. they really go well together i was like not sure i was like oh this is a seven card right. like yeah pull i'm like mm, this that when the four came out i was, I was like, like i don't i almost couldn't count i yeah but the cards never lie um the first part is definitely about like what you need to do and what you're doing wrong and then this is what you need to invest in and how you're really gonna find that rest like in order for you to be able to invest in yourself and find that peace and explore what makes you happy and find those creative um the like creative outlets you need to let go of some of the control and some of the work for yourself so that's how nance can rest this upcoming season how they can find that clarity within that so oh no <laughs> Girl, Here. she's like, I don't care about the cards. I care about the house. It's on your list. She's trying really hard, but yeah, there you go. There you Amazing. have it. Cards don't lie. They don't lie. If you have any questions, send them to us. DM. If you like this video, smash, smash that, that like button, button subscribe, subscribe, and drop your New Year's resolution in the comments. And we'll see you next time. All right. Bye, friends. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Stay dumb.